Good morning, everyone. On this Monday morning, the 8th of February, we are beginning in the book of Genesis uh, in our readings, the first reading for the Mass this morning. And this is chapter 1, verses 1 through 19. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome and it separated the water from the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into a basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning fowl the third day. Then God saw, said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the day and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning fowl, the fourth day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this beginning of the book of Genesis, there is uh, a lot could be said, and I'm not going to go into a great deal of in the detail, other than to say, when approaching this, one needs to kind of approach it with an understanding of Hebrew poetry and how they work. A real big important part of this is formless and void. You have three days where there is form put in and three days that fills it. So if you see it in that kind of pattern, then it makes more sense. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. You have day and night before the fourth day, and yet that's the day in which the sun and the moon are brought. So it's kind of crazy if you're trying to think of it in terms of scientific ways. It's not meant to be that. The important point is who is the creator and what is the creator doing? He's putting form where there was formlessness and he's filling what was void. Now the Catechism of the Catholic Church has an interesting paragraph. There are a number of paragraphs that you could put in here, but I'm just gonna pull one of them out of here. And just to give us a little bit of uh, perspective on this important one. And this is paragraph number 290 in the Catechism. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Three things are affirmed in these first words of Scripture. The eternal God gave a beginning to all that exists outside of himself. He alone is creator. The verb create in Hebrew, bara, always has God for its subject. The totality of what exists expressed by the formula, the heavens and the earth, depends on the one who gives it its being. 
we get to thank God for the existence of all that has been created. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.